In AutoCAD, we have a number of editing commands. And each of these editing commands will give you select object prompt the moment you give it. You can respond to this prompt in a variety of ways. You can either use Pickbox to select individual objects or else you can make use of collective selection methods like standard window, crossing window, window polygon, crossing polygon, fence, etc. But is it possible to reuse these selections on a later stage? Let's check that out. I would like to move this depot through a certain distance in the leftward direction. So I'll click on the move tool of the home tab and I'll select the depot using the standard window. I'll click the base point over here and I'll select the second point over here. Now I would like to rotate the same depot through an angle of 90 degree. So I'll click on a rotate command and I don't have to select this depot again because you know that AutoCAD memorizes the most recently prepared selection set. And if you want to access that selection set again, you don't have to select it again, but instead type the letter P at the select object prompt. P stands for previous. So I'll give P and enter. And the T-Poi got selected again. I'll select the base point over here and I'll give an angle of 90 degree. Next, I'll move this kitchen sink in the Y direction through a certain distance. So I'll click on the move tool and I'll select the kitchen sink using a standard window. I'll click the base point over here and the second point over here. Okay, now I feel like I want to move this depot slightly in the negative Y direction through a certain distance. So I'll go to move again. But in this context, is it possible for me to give P? If I type P, the sink will get selected because that is a most recently prepared selection. So I'll just escape to cancel this operation. So in such a situation, it will be better if you can save selections under different names in AutoCAD so that you will be able to make use of it on a later stage. So is it possible for AutoCAD to memorize these selections? Yes, it is. It is done with the help of the group command. A group is a feature in AutoCAD using which you can combine any number of objects as a single selection without blocking. Another advantage of creating a group in AutoCAD is you can include an object in more than one groups, which is not possible in the case of blocks. So let's make a group. If you want to make a group, you can do that either with the help of the group command or you can just activate the home tab and click on the group button of the groups panel. So I'll click on the groups button. It will ask you to select objects to be grouped. Using a standard window, I'll select all the objects in the living room. Okay, I've just selected it. Now you have to name the group. Okay, so type the letter N for the name. Or you can just click on name. It will ask you for a group name. Since I've selected all the furnitures in the living room, I'll call this group as living. I have typed living and I have created a group. You can use this group in two different ways while you select objects in an editing command. Let's give an editing command, say mirror. I'll click on mirror. When I'm asked to select objects, I'll just go and select this group. But only this particular line got selected. That's because the group selection mode is not active. So you have to activate that mode. You can do that either by clicking on this button or else you can give the pick style variable the value one. That means when the pick style is given the value one, the group selection is on. When it is set the value zero, it will be off. So I'll just click on this button to activate the group selection. Now just click on it. You can see that the entire group got selected. Now you can very well mirror the objects in a group. I'll just cancel the mirror command. Once you disable the group selection mode, you can access the objects in a group individually. This time, I'm going to do that with the help of the pick style variable. So I'll give pick style and I'll give the value zero. Now you can see that this button over here got disabled. I'll give move command and I'll select this depot and this is the base point and this is the second point. I've moved it individually. Next, we will see the second method to use this group. I'll give the same mirror command again. So I'll click on the mirror. When I'm asked to select object, I'll type the letter G. G stands for group. So it'll ask you for a group name. I'll give the group name which I have created, that is living. 
now all the objects on the groups got selected so here i could select all the objects even when the group selection mode is off so when you type g at the select object prompt it will act as an object selection method now i'll select first point on the mirror line and this is the second point on the mirror line and i'm just click on yes when you are asked to erase the source objects now it got mirrored you can include one or more objects in more than one groups you know that these two chairs are included in a group called living what if you want to create a new group in which only these two chairs are included let's make such a group so i'll click on the group button and i'll disable the group selection mode and i'll select these two chairs and i'll give a name i'll type the letter n and i'll type the name chairs for this group so i have created a new group called chairs now we have a group within a group how will you know that whether there is a group within a group the easiest method is just activate the group selection mode if it is not active then you just click on the group now when i click on this group you will see a bounding box surrounding the group plus a grip corresponding to that group now i'll just press escape to deselect and i'll click on the chairs instead when i click here you will clearly see two bounding boxes and grips each corresponding to each group now i want to mirror these two chairs onto the other side so i'll click on mirror when i'm asked to select object i'll type the letter g for group when i'm asked to select the group name i'll give chairs and only those two chairs got selected now i'll select this as a base point and this as a second point and just give an enter to complete the mirroring you can create any number of such groups to systematically organize and manage selections and when you save the file this information will get written to the database and next time when you reopen you will be able to access the same groups to manage your selections so friends whenever you create drawings remember the application of groups and make the best use of this concept